everyone it's Yvonne here to do the reading for the lovely sign of Aquarius now whether you are an Aquarius Sun and you identify as an Aquarius Sun or whether it the Aquarius is in your moon your rising or some other place in your chart then you can watch this reading um, and if you're cross watching of course you can watch it anyway um, and I know we all cross watch so I don't have any judgment here um, if you are interested in watching the daily readings, then please visit my channel at the Aussie Goddess Intuitive Tarot. Um, I do a daily reading based in the energies that are coming through at that time. So um, you are welcome to go over and have a look over there. And if you're interested in listening to podcasts, I've just started a podcast channel and myself and the lovely Susie from Spiritual Podcast. Um, on YouTube uh, did a, an hour manifestation chat so if you're interested in manifestation go over and watch that on uh, Buzzsprout all right let's see what's going on so I'm using the ethereal tarot for your reading which is probably really my very favorite deck although I always say everything's my favorite okay and we'll see where we're going with that nice split spirit all right so we're starting off with the Queen of Pentacles now the Queen of Pentacles is a card that represents Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So when this card comes out, it can mean that you are dealing with one of the Earth signs. If you're watching this as a cross watcher, you could possibly be one of those signs. And that's always a little bit spooky when someone calls you on that. Um, so the Queen of Pentacles represents the Earth, the feminine aspects of Earth signs. So we're talking about the energy of nurturing, caring, loving she's a very practical um, well sort of organized thought out person so for me she often represents the partner in a relationship whether that's male or female now remember the cards don't necessarily represent boy girl male female whatever you want the gender fluid what they represent is the feminine aspects of that particular sign so she's coming through right there all right and behind her we have the nine of pentacles now i have to say to you this is one of my favorite combinations in terms of a person if this is the energy you're going through at the moment that you're taking on that really earthy down to earth straightforward sort of energy the nine of pentacles talks about feeling independent self-sufficient so when you've got the two of those cards together for me they show a strength of character that is incredibly good so maybe you're in this place at the moment it could be that you are coming up as the nine of pentacles and your partner's coming up as the queen of pentacles in which case your energy is very very similar and very very matched all right we have a love cup here so there seems to be a relationship here now let me just get into the next card okay and we have the queen of cups no there are two people being represented in a love relationship here okay so for me you're dealing with someone who could be an earth sign Capricorn Taurus Virgo you could be dealing with a water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio but ultimately you are dealing with someone who is very very upfront straightforward direct about how they feel about you now if you haven't met this person yet remember these readings if you want to watch I did a video on tarot readings on the front of my other channel so go and watch there because I talk about the fact that sometimes when I do a reading it could be the future for you it could be the past and has already happened or you could be in the middle of this at this time whatever it is for you it doesn't matter so if you're watching this and going that hasn't happened yet it could be happening so what I feel like here is you've met someone here who is very open honest straightforward about the way they feel about you you know that's a really beautiful thing when someone's not scared to really show you how they feel whether they have one of those beautiful five love languages whether it's showing you by doing saying gifting whatever it is you've got someone here who feels so strongly about you that they are not holding back on the way they treat you um, and this is really beautiful energy so if you haven't met this person yet I feel like they're about to come in you have the five of wands coming through here with the three of cups with the three of swords okie dokie I can see exactly what's happening here page of wands 
I can't help it. When I see the Three of Cups, I can always, always count on the fact that something is interfering in this relationship. There is something that is coming between two people here that is really difficult. I feel like your person has let you know how they feel about you, but I feel this is why you're in this sort of energy here, because maybe you have a decision to make around whether you continue this relationship with this person or whether you move on. I feel like you're dealing with someone who is either still on the tail end of a relationship or about to move out of a relationship. So I feel like they're about to separate or their relationship is on the rocks. I do. And I feel like they are about to make some sort of decision in regards to that. I don't feel they see you coming. I don't see, feel that they have seen how they feel about you at this point in time. And I really think that you're going to hear this over the next period. So for me, this isn't somebody who's like, messing you around i do feel this person feels very serious about you i do feel they want a relationship with you i don't think they're mucking around when they tell you their own relationship is is finished and that they are just finishing it up or ready to leave or whatever else this person could have already like left the relationship but still be dealing with the residue of that um and I almost feel this person is quite torn at this time because they feel so strongly for you, but they're still attending to something here from their past. All right, so we have here the Five of Cups. There it is. Okay, with the Sun card and the Ten of Wands. See, these cards here tell me that this is somebody who's ready to walk away from something. They've, it feels to me like they've already somewhat finished it. And I feel that they're still dealing with it because the past card is coming up here. So they're still dealing with the past situation. But what I feel here is with the sun is there's something about the relationship with you that makes them feel new again. Um, oh, golly, I can hear a Madonna in my head. Um, loved for the very first time, like that sort of energy. Um but I feel like this person is really legitimate about how they feel about you. Got Leo energy coming through here. We have the lovers, which is Gemini energy. See, choice between two. Okay, and we also have the two of cups. All right, that's quite clear with the eight of swords. Okay, if you haven't met this person yet, this person is coming to you on the back of finishing up something else. But I'm I don't feel that they have completely finalized those uh, part that past situation. And I feel because of that, this person, although they're feeling very, very much in love with you and want to move to the next level, may be very reluctant to sort of commit to anything at this point in time. They do recognize the connection here. They absolutely want to be with you. It's like you bring this smile into their day or or something beautiful, fill their day with roses, like it's all romantic, it's just stunning. And I feel like this person now has this choice, but that it's almost like they're still dealing with the pain of the past here. And it may be a little difficult for them to commit to you at this point in time. That doesn't mean they won't, but I feel like they may be reluctant at the moment until they've sort of cleared the path here. Um, but it's sort of for you, I feel, if this is you, it could flip-flop. It could be you doing this. But I feel like for whoever's the shoes on the other foot is feeling a little bit like maybe this person doesn't love you or maybe um, they're only using you or whatever. And I want to say to you, this person loves you intensely. They have every intention of making something from this. But at this point in time, they cannot move forward. All right, let's have a look and see what's going on. So I have the Queen of Pentacles. Should have realized then you were dealing with somebody who might have been in a relationship. Nine of Pentacles, see, this is somebody from a relationship going into single energy here. Ace of Cups tells me this person has great love for you here. And I feel like here, what did we have? The Queen of Cups followed by the Empress. So for me, that's that energy of this person wants you to have their children. 
you want to have this person's children, whatever. It's about birthing something new with someone. So if it's not a physical having children, it's about wanting to bring a relationship into the world. But I feel like you're dealing with someone who may be sort of holding back at the moment. And I'd say to you, they're not doing the wrong thing by you. They are doing the right thing, but they're trying to finish something else up in their life before it becomes too confusing and too overwhelming. It is very much this energy of let's handle one thing at a time and then we'll move on. So the Eight of Swords is here. So both of you are really in your heads about this. You probably want to move forward. You probably want to have this relationship. Nine of Swords over the Eight of Swords. Wow, doesn't that say it all? And then you have the Strength card with the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you're dealing with someone and there's the Hierophant. I feel like you're doing with that somebody wanting to do something in a very traditional way. So your person doesn't want to sort of feel like they're doing the wrong thing by the other person. They want to make sure they're doing the right thing by you. So they would be doing and taking the steps they need to before they leave their past situation behind. But this is a person who's probably going to want to make um, a proposal or want to make something with you in the right way and in order to do that they've got to sort of clean their house before they go all right let's have a look at an oracle card actually i feel like reading one from the fairies oracle All right, so we have, hmm, can't quite read that. They are often, often are hard to read. But I'm right to the page, which is quite interesting. The loam. Unconditional giving and unconditional receiving here. If you are stuck or blocked in a situation and the loom turns up in a reading, you probably need to stop focusing on what you are trying to accomplish and simply give to others freely and generously and unconditional. Um, it talks about random acts of kindness, but I feel like here what they're saying is this person um, can be loved regardless of the situation they're in. Um, maybe you just need to make a plan on how you move forward or maybe you need to um, really reassure your person that you do love them and you do want what they want. But it's almost like don't be um, don't be holding back on this person because of what they're going through or don't. If this is you going through a separation, make sure that your person knows that whatever's going on isn't part of who they are, that this is a separate thing. I feel that's what they're trying to say. All right, I will leave you with that, Aquarius. Thank you.